Well, they're very uh, family-oriented, very happy. They were always uh, together as a family. That's how Troy Love will forever remember Vidar and Delphina Lily Lid and their children, Tabitha and Peter. He was one of the first people the family met when they moved to Knoxville from Florida. That's where they met in Miami. Uh, Peter, I mean, uh, Vidar uh, came over from Sweden and met her there. And then, of course, they decided to uh, move away from there because of the crime uh, being a bigger city and things. And then so they came here to Knoxville. We sat down with Troy Love at a place dear to the Lily Lids, their church. This is where we first uh, met uh, Vidar and Delphina, who was here at the Kingdom Hall. They shared their faith with others and not trying to force it on them, but uh, in, in, in trying to offer them some, you know, hope for a future or something better. Six-year-old Tabitha stole his heart. Uh, she was just a little doll. She had uh, blonde hair and the little long eyelashes, and she loved to entertain. She had a little straw hat, and she had a little uh, sunflower on the front of it, and she'd come up to me and she'd say, I want to sing this song to you, so she, she liked to perform. And then there is Peter, the only survivor. Oh, he's just precious. Precious little boy. Brenda Hunter met Peter just days after he was gunned down by those Kentucky teenagers. She was a travel agent trying to get Peter's family from Sweden to East Tennessee as quickly as possible. Brenda opened up her heart and her home. It was really amazing because at the time, you know, we figured they're coming in for the funeral and so that would be probably a week at most. Well, as you recall, after they got here, we came into the big custody battle, and so they ended up staying with me about three months. Peter would eventually move to Sweden with his aunt and uncle, Rondi and Ode Heyer, but that did not end the East Tennessee friendship. Because even when I went back to Sweden later, he would want to pick me strawberries, so he would go in the garden, as they call the yard over there, and pick me strawberries and give them to me. So it was just a real close bond with Peter and with the entire family. A bond forged by tragedy. Brenda believes Peter recalls at some level what happened to him when he was two years old. On a visit to Sweden years back, they went to a museum. A cannon fired, and Peter became distraught. We realized he was remembering the shot that had happened and, and he just started screaming and we didn't know what was wrong and, and we were just all in tears because it, it also showed us that, um, you know, although he was very young, that he remembered what happened. Today, 10 years later, friends of Peter and the Lily Lids prefer to remember the happy times, the friendship and memories a shooting could not destroy. What I've gotten out of just taking the effort to get involved is the lasting relationship with uh, Rondi, the entire Lily Lid family, and of course Peter that I will remember forever and ever and ever.